What's going on guys and welcome back. Today is a pretty big day. It is the release of the 2025 Polaris lineup. Um, I am not doing a live video. This is gonna be posted after they do their thing. Um, but I am here, I'm literally just waiting for it to come on the TV. And then I will, uh, I'll go through it and kind of give you guys my thoughts. And if you guys didn't see what it was, I'll kind of go over and touch on most of the trail stuff. Now, I, I'll talk about the mountain stuff because it is uh, very relevant. I know that we don't do a lot of the mountain stuff on this channel, but I will touch on some stuff if they change it. Uh, I'm excited. I don't know what's coming. A lot of you guys think that I do know what's coming, but I actually don't know what's coming. Um, and again, like I said in the video earlier, Bruce is down there and Will from Velocity Sled Performance is down there. And uh, we'll see very shortly. What do we got? Six minutes, it says. Yeah, six minutes. So check back in. Here we go, guys. What do you think? Are we thinking 9R? Are we thinking boost in an XCR? 9R, XCR, XC9R? What are we thinking? I'm happy for you guys, but let's talk about something a little bit more up my alley. Let's dig into the 2025 Polaris Trail and Crossover Slims. We have something extremely special coming from the mountains, bringing it to Trail and Crossover. So let's check it out. The need for raw power and ultimate response on the trail, in the ditches, and across the land is now met. Introducing the Factory Mod 9R Indy XCR and switch back to salt. Proven in the mountains, the 9R is built on a durable 850 Patriot architecture and is the fastest accelerating and most responsive engine we've ever dropped in a sled. As the industry's only factory 900 mod motor, the 9R delivers more power and torque with less weight, instantly shortening the distance between every corner for the rough trail champion in the XCR. In the switchback assault, it has instant power for greater off-trail agility and hits hard and never hesitates. Whether you're handling rough terrain with the 9R in the XCR or launching the 9R switchback assault, now you've got the muscle and response to put you out front. 9R factory mark performance is now yours. Catch up to whatever you're chasing. There are a few people who have been waiting for this one. <laughs> You're looking at one right here, buddy. So 2025, 9R, an Indy XCR, and Switchback Assault. Now, 9R's been in the mountains for a couple years. You guys have been riding them. But it's really all about low inertia engines and low inertia crank trains. And that starts with all of our race engines that we build at Polaris. Then in 23, the 9R, which was our 900 improved package from Rimshot came out in production. And now we're bringing it to the trail sled. So continuing that low inertia, super hard hitting power that we build with our race engines, now offering more to our customers in 9R. It is an awesome package, and like you said, the low inertia engines, it reminds me of riding my old Snowcross mod sleds, and it's so much fun coming out of the turn, corner to corner. I mean, it is like a rocket coming out of it. I mean, I can't help but smile when I think of 9R and Trail Crossover. I think one thing that guys are going to feel as well, I know in the mountain scene, this is what the 9R did for us, is it made the sled feel lighter. And it just with that instant power, it just responds more to rider right input. Absolutely. And we'll start over here on XCR. So the first of the two 9Rs that are new for this year is the Indy XCR. Now, this is our cross-country race sled that somebody can go and snow check, right? So it's got all the big time parts to go through the rough terrain really fast. Big two inch walker velocity shocks with high and low speed compression on all four corners. Beefier rail grain, stronger rear suspension components, all about durability in the back. 
race handlebars, a standard tether, our Polaris racing technology brake system, all the really cool and fancy and tough parts that you want to go faster the tough terrain. Now, with the 7% more power and 12% more torque of the Patriot 9R. The pair to this one is right over here, and that's the switchback assault. Our ultimate crossover sled, all about versatility on and off the trail. 146 IGX rear suspension, kind of that really cool bridge, right, between on and off trail. Big two inch track or different Cobra track options, depending on what you're looking for. Walker Evans Velocity Shocks and Patriot 9R. 9R switchback assault, rip corner to corner on the trail, and it is so fun and playful off the trail. That's what I love about switchback assault, is how playful and fun it is. Now you add 9R to that, unbelievable. I mean, how much more fun can it get than ripping wheelies off in the powder? And then think about that corner to corner, just like a missile. That's a serious horsepower increase for XCR and switchback assault with the 9R in there. But what if you're the rider that's looking for the next generation of trail performance? Absolutely. The Polaris engineering team has been spending many years building the most advanced suspension system on the snow. We call it Dynamics. Now's the time to rethink what you know about suspensions. Because the book has just been rewritten. Introducing the Indy VR1 now with Dynamics. and greater comfort with the world's smartest, most advanced suspension to ever hit the snow. In developing Dynamics, we took a patented off-road technology and optimized it for our sleds. Dynamics is more than a shock absorber reacting to the terrain. It's the industry's only intelligent system that monitors and processes rider and machine inputs, automatically adjusting the compression of all four shocks. Whether you're cornering, accelerating, or even air cornering, Dynamics instantly responds to improve comfort and maintain stability for an optimal ride all day, every day. Dynamics Smart Suspension allows you to select from three rider modes so you can take on the trail your way. Comfort Mode, the most comfortable suspension for a plush ride and long days on the trail. Rally Mode. Designed for the widest range of terrain and aggressive cornering and trail riding. Extreme mode, a firmer suspension for hard charging and unforgettable terrain. And when you set it, Dynamics reduces harsh landings with a smoother ride across unpredictable terrain. The all-new Indy VR1 with Dynamics makes your ride effortless. Dynamics, an all-new suspension system developed and engineered by Polaris for the Indy VR1. At the core of Dynamics is what's called the IMU. It's an inertial measurement unit. A really cool piece about Dynamics beyond the IMU and how it thinks is that we're controlling all four shocks. And it's the only electronic snowmobile suspension that controls all four. A couple of cool things about how the system works and how you can kind of use it when you're riding. The first is it's all event-based. Dynamics is using that IMU to constantly look for acceleration, deceleration, cornering, and every time it senses it's in the beginning of one of those events, it adapts the rest of the suspension to carry you out of the event. Take cornering, for example. You come into the corner, the vehicle starts to lean a little bit as you're decelerating. The IMU says, hey, my inertia of the vehicle shows that I'm cornering. It stiffens up the outside shock, uses the front track shock to manipulate vehicle balance, carries you through the corner. When you hammer on the throttle to come out the back side, it stiffens up the rear track shock to perfectly balance traction and ski pressure as you come out. Dynamics is absolutely incredible. You know, when you're out there on the trail, you're going through them small bumps. It's literally eating them up like potato chips. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. It's doing all this stuff on the fly. And you get three modes in Dynamics. So comfort, rally, and extreme. 
Comfort is obviously all for comfort. Starts the shocks down at what we call the zero out of 10 position. Not a lot of ski pressure, just comfortable driving when you're riding around on the trails. Rally is what you're gonna use a vast majority of the time when you're riding around the trails. That's for high performance trail riding. Pushing through the corners really fast, riding fast through bumps and, and whoops. And then extreme mode, when you wanna get extreme, go jump something, the trail gets super rough, you wanna hit it really fast, extreme mode is there. But the coolest part, and again, something unique about dynamics, is all of our modes are what we call speed sensitive. So comfort mode starts at a pretty soft setting, but if you accelerate and you're going a, a faster speed, comfort mode will ramp up a little bit. So it's still comfortable even at those higher speeds. Same, just like extreme, it, it's really stiff. When you're going really slow, kind of putzing around or going over some slower trail chatter, it'll actually pull itself back a little bit because you're going slower. And so it helps provide more comfort in the different modes while still delivering the performance you're looking for when you push the snowmobile. For 2025, Dynamics is an optional suspension package for Indy VR1. So all Snowcheck exclusive, it'll be an option in Snowcheck, but it's available on 650, 850, and Patriot Boost. So all three engine options that are available in VR1. For those of you looking for a sled for more than just playing. Oh boy. Uh, some of us guessed it. Some of us didn't guess it. Um, I assumed that there was a 9R coming in an XCR and an Assault. Uh, it was just kind of fitting. Uh, and I felt like a lot of things were pointing in that direction. And uh, we did get that. But before we get in depth on that stuff, Mountain Guys, pretty cool. They uh, shaved some weight, new running boards, new throttle block. Uh, 7S got some cool updates. Uh, lower seat for them. <clears throat> so a couple little odds and end things, but Barant seems to be pretty pumped about them. So they must work pretty good. But yes, trail side, uh, 9R XCR. Um, it's pretty cool that they now have that as a factory option. We've been doing it for two years now, uh, as you guys know. So it's pretty cool to see that kind of come to real life in on that side of things. Uh, no, again, we did not have anything to do with that or know about it in advance. I found out just like you guys did right now. Um, so pretty cool to see that. That is, uh, that's a huge thing. I know a lot of guys are wanting that. So that's cool. And then the, the other big thing is dynamics. So uh, we kind of had an idea that this was coming also, uh, just due to ski do having their smart shocks. And it, it's only a matter of time before the other manufacturers kind of catch up to what the other manufacturers are doing, so on and so forth. It's always a back and forth game. Some beat some of the other ones to the, to the punchline. So we did get that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, that'll be interesting to get on and kind of feel it. Obviously us being our suspension oriented people, it's going to be really interested to see how those things, um, work. So this really is pretty cool. I mean, I, you know, I definitely enjoy it and you know, they're just pushing the, uh, the limits of the, the trails again. So, um, I'm going to do some more in-depth uh, video about the things that were just released. This is just kind of an overview type deal, but uh, I know Will is doing a bunch of videos down there. He has an iPhone, so he's going to send me up a bunch of videos of talking about things and showing things so I could show you guys a little bit better on the video uh, instead of just showing you what Polaris put out, which obviously anyone could go and look at that. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. I, I'm excited for it. I don't have any clue as to what I'm going to be getting, and I will do a video uh, once I get with Bruce and really figure out what we're gonna do for next year. Uh, you know, there's a couple new things out and it's just kinda gonna be a guessing game of, okay, let's go this direction or let's go that direction. So uh, definitely gonna have to think about that one and, uh, and go from there, but pretty cool stuff. I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are excited. Put down in the comments if you guys are excited about it or not excited about it. If you we're let down or you're pumped about it, let me know. But uh, that is gonna do it, guys. We have uh, 9R and a trail sled, and we have uh, dynamic shocks and a trail sled. So pretty cool stuff. It's fun watching the the, the sport just kind of evolve little by little, and, and new things are gonna continue to come out for till Never Never Land. So, uh, <laughs> We shall see. What's everyone ordering? If you're going to order anything or you're not going to order, let me know. Put everything down in the comments. Be interactive. I'll get back to you guys. But uh, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. As I'm editing this, I just saw something that uh, a fellow Polaris 
uh, enthusiasts just posted, and it's kind of all the updates that have been done to the sleds, whether that be um, mapping or drive shafts or drivers or any little update that has been done is kind of in this uh, picture that I'm going to put up right now. So pretty cool to kind of see all the things that have changed. 